I and went, I you were really, Sylvia's drinking buddy? Yes, yeah, Sylvia and I um, partied heavy together. Uh, I, I had... Um, what years? Um, gosh, this would have been in um, the 90s. The, yeah, 90, the, the late 90s. The late 90s. 96 to 99. Well, for me, it was the whole 90s, but I met Sylvia in the mid-90s. So, um, yeah, we... Um, she was with her vodka, I was with my beer, Yeah. and uh, oh, we go out. I remember when uh, she got um, the award at the Gay and Lesbian Center, uh, the Marsha P. Johnson Award at the Gay and Lesbian Center. It was... Wait a minute, uh, wait, you, that was, that was, oh, wait a minute, I don't remember. There was one that we got the Marsha P. Johnson Award at the Black Men's, there was a Black African American History Week and they had Sylvia, but you weren't there. Sylvia and I went there at their invitation because they, and the funny thing was, they assumed, I introduced Sylvia as the manager of my store, they assumed that we were a gay couple <laughs> who ran the store together. So, oh, wow. So tell me about her award. So uh, this, she had to get special permission to go into the Gay and Lesbian right, Center. That was so was annoying. Banned. That's why I quit. She had been banned I quit from the giving center money the to the center because so of that. So they had to give her special permission right. to go for that night. I went with Rusty and Chelsea and Julia, a whole entourage. I was so drunk. I actually fell out of my seat and was under the table, I passed out. Yeah, Julia remembers that. I mean, really? I was I was drinking back then. Yeah, I, didn't I don't they, touch it now. I didn't but, know they had a Marsha P. Johnson Award. That was the very first one, and they gave it to her. Um, and and I, I don't remember even the organization, but I remember it was at the. Maybe it was the Gay and Lesbian Center. Was it was maybe wasn't it at the uh, Audrey Lord Project or something? The Audrey Lord Project gave the award, but it was at the Gay and Lesbian oh, Center. Oh, okay, that's why. I that's remember, why I remember. Right. Oh. I remember. Yeah, that's that's where I passed out at the Gay and Lesbian Center. So tell Center me about you. Floor. Tell me about you um, and Sylvia. So, so um, I mean, I could tell you drinking stories, but what I was most poignant is when she quit. Um, yeah. When we went out to Patty Mountain, uh, it was um, Rusty. Was, was there you go. She remembers the date. Um, uh, 1999. Um, uh, it was Julia, uh, Sylvia, myself, Rusty, Chelsea, and Marilyn. Uh, Marilyn was there. And. Um, uh, Sylvia drank the last of her beer. She brought it out there with her, right. and when she finished it, that was it. She didn't get any more. Um, she had gone down from vodka to beer. From vodka to beer, and then... That was her, her step towards that sobriety. That was her step towards sobriety, and then from beer to non-alcoholic beer and pot. O'Doul's. O'Doul's, yes. Yeah. O'Doul's and pot. Oh, I had an O'Doul's yes. on the steamship. Yes, and um, goddess bless her, she did it. I don't know how she did it, but she did it. It worked. I remember that weekend. She slept most of that weekend. Uh, that was the weekend I got lost in the woods and had the vision oh, quest. That was the weekend? That was the oh, weekend. Really? Yeah. And there was a picture of Sylvia and myself uh, hugging against a tree, and somebody took it at her funeral. I had it at her funeral, and somebody took the picture. And that was the only picture I had of me and Sylvia. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. I have other pictures of Sylvia, but not with the two of us together. Oh. Yeah. And what was um, her, what, because in the documentary... We attributed her involvement with Julia, who's here with us. Uh, in the flesh. <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> I don't want to film the flesh. <laughs> I get, <laughs> I'll, I'll film it now that no! the flesh is. <laughs> okay, so anyway, what was it? What was, was, was that her, what was her motivation for sobriety? Was it Julia? Was it movement, it, desire? A lot what? of it was Julia. A lot of it was health. A lot of it was, I think she was just getting sick of it. And she was getting angry at the bottle. She had started talking to the bottle. She had started arguing with it. You know, she'd say, you bitch. You know, you've been ruling me all these years, and I'm going to conquer you. And she'd start having wow. conversations with the bottle. And I remember even after she had quit drinking, I remember the one time, you know, she had been sober months, uh, but she saw an empty bottle in a, a garbage can, and she said, you bitch, you're not going to tempt me. You know? <laughs> Like Good that. for her. Yeah, I was so you proud know, of her. When she but, worked uh, for me, I would see her bag open in the alcove, and I would see the pint bottle in there, half gone, half empty. But I can honestly say, and it's incredible, all the years I never caught her or saw her take a swig. 
She was good. She was good. She must have been the she quickest chocolate good. lugger, or she had a. I mean, how could how could she have worked for me for what two or three years? And you never saw her take a swig. And, I, and yet I knew she was drinking. You could smell it on her. Yeah. And at the end of the day, those <laughs> two fifths would be gone. Oh, you I don't know. When fifths. I saw, when I yeah. noticed it, were pint bottles generally in her bag. Oh, I never she, saw a whole fifth. She got down to one to two fifths a day. She would start, I remember, in the morning. That was her coffee. She'd wake up and go for her vodka. And, um, you know, the one Thanksgiving, um, I'll never forget, because we um, stayed up cooking. We're both very good cooks, and we had stayed up all night uh, cooking this great Thanksgiving dinner at Transy House. And about we were both drunk off our asses. About 3 in the morning, we got into a fight, and it was a nasty fight. And we went upstairs, and I'm crying, and we got Rusty and Chelsea up, and da-da-da. Well, what happened was Sylvia decided she's going to take the dog for a walk and get out of the house. So she takes Kiva. Kiva bolts with Sylvia. Sylvia tears her leg on the gate so bad that she's got to go to the hospital. EMS comes Thanksgiving morning. EMS comes. Um, Didn't she fall down? I thought she actually fell down on the, in the back uh, yard. No, that was Kiva. And where was this? This was in, this was Transy House? Transy House. Yeah. No, uh -huh. Kiva, this was Kiva. You can ask oh. Rusty. This okay. was Kiva pulling her and she tore her leg on the gate. I have a great <coughs> documentary on Transy but, um, House you enjoy seeing. Anyhow, Sylvia and I made up after that. She was in the hospital and it was, it was Thanksgiving. It was cold. So I had this huge thick um, uh, brown suede coat on with all this fleece lining and uh, she was uh, laying in bed and they had her on a phenobarbital drip so she would not go into DTs oh. and I had a 40 of um, beer and I was acting like I was giving her a hug while she was chugging it from the inside of my coat oh my while she was God. on the phenobarbital yeah, Thanksgiving day Somebody yeah, we well, you were. Uh, is that is that is would that be? Could we do that as a painting or a drawing? Are you being the uh, angel of mercy. <laughs> <laughs> it was almost like she was drinking from my breast, you know. It was, it was a big forty of Budweiser, you know. Uh, well, that's yeah. a great story.